Hey there, gang. This should pertain to a lot of the things I've been trying to share with you over the last several months and give you some food for thought. I suppose Springsteen's worth about $600 million. I think Taylor Swift, if she's not there already, she's well on her way. I mean, obviously, if you become a superstar, you can make a lot of money in this business. But what about a billionaire? All right, so follow me here. Who was the third richest person upon his death? It was about approximately 10 years ago. The third richest person when he died in Tennessee. The third richest person in Tennessee is really freaking rich because Fred Smith of FedEx is a billionaire and the woman who built the skirmer horn, I can't remember her name, but she has a publishing company. She's a billionaire. So the third richest person in Tennessee is stinking rich. Definitely a billionaire. So who would that be, do you think, when he died about 10 years ago? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. A captain of industry, perhaps. A tech person, maybe. Somebody in the stock market. It's got to be like, you know, a hedge fund dude or whatever, right? Wrong. The third richest person in Tennessee when he died was Eddie Arnold. Now, for some of you youngins, that may, name may not mean much to you, but Eddie Arnold was a pioneering country star of the 50s and 60s. In fact, he was partially responsible for the contrapolitan sound of the 60s. And he hadn't had any hits in a long, long time when he died, obviously, but he was worth $1.2 billion. B -b 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 billion. Yeah, that's right. The Kentucky Plowboy, Eddie Arnold, was worth approximately $1.2 billion, according to the Tennessean newspaper. How can that be? Well, this is the lesson I want to share with you. Now, I understand it ain't the 50s and 60s, and it's a lot harder to do this today, but it's really a message about opportunity. So what Eddie Arnold did was every paycheck he got from the music business he bought land. Yeah, I know what you're saying, land, yeah, well, well, but listen, what Mark Twain said is buy land because God ain't making more of it, and that's still true. The opportunities are not there that Eddie Arnold had, but wait, there's more. So Eddie Arnold kept buying land and kept buying land and kept buying land. And then, some years later, when the federal government wanted to build an international airport in Nashville, Oh yes, my friends, where did they build that airport? Nashville International Airport. On part of the Arnold Farm, which was hundreds and hundreds of acres of land by this point. I mean, it could be thousands of acres. Yes, they bought the land from Eddie Arnold. But wait, there's more. Eddie Arnold also owned, his land stretched all the way to what's now known as Brentwood, Tennessee, which is a Tony suburb of Nashville with very, very, very wealthy homes, very exclusive communities. But he didn't sell it part and parcel in big chunks. Oh no, he would only sell it two acres at a time. So Brentwood, also used to be the Arnold Farm, and he only sold it in small pieces, so he made more money. And apparently he was worth $1.2 billion when he died. So I just want you to think about it. Yes, yes, I know the opportunities aren't the same. But guess what? There's really cheap land west of Nashville, out past Ashland Springs, which is like a small community west of here on the way to Memphis. But there are opportunities everywhere. Thankfully, I had some really good advisors when I started my career, some really smart people, and I had some family that I trusted. And I did a similar thing. Now, I'm not a billionaire. I did it on a much smaller scale, but enough of a scale that I can now live comfortably out through my golden years from the money I earned from music. So just, just think about it. I know, I know it's hard, but be smart. Don't blow your money on stupid stuff. And when you can accumulate even a few thousand dollars, 
invest it wisely and keep compounding it because 30, 40 years later, you'll be shocked. You might even be a billionaire. <laughs>